Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another Warframe video. Korra and her signature weapons, the Hiss Streaks and Jewel Karez, all were primed and all were just released. But are they worth your time to spend former in and upgrading? Short answer, yes. We're going to go to make this video quick as well and simple by covering some of the builds that you guys can go and use to give you an idea. So please feel free to pause at any moment. A reminder to like today's video for support and leave me a comment sharing how your builds are going. Without rambling too much on, let's go ahead and jump into Korra's builds first. I think it's a good argument to make that one of Korra's most defined uses is to help out with material farming due to her augment for her fourth ability, Pilfering Strangle Dome. And it's quite easy. All you got to go and do is just cast your fourth and any enemy that dies whilst tangled within her dome will drop additional loot. Now, this is a great way to farm for materials that you'll be needing lots of, such as polymer bundles, for example. Struggle Dome isn't just useful for that, but it also controls areas can even be cast twice. This is perfect for setting up choke points and letting enemies track to you, but then get tangled within her crowd control. So a build like this will give you an idea on what to take. You do not need to bring these exact precise mods. If you ever prefer to switch mods out because your playstyle is different, then please go ahead and do what works for you. Every tile set and every choke point may require a different range, for example. So find your own groove. The only thing Korra doesn't really require much of, if at all, is strength. So pump up those other stats and be the utility queen that you desire. As for her companion, Venery, here's a quick look into an aggressive build that I prefer for her. To know if she utilizes the sharpened claws mods, she can strip enemy armor to the point that a level 190 enemy will get one shot by her attacks following that armor strip. Keep her feisty. She's not going to be controlled very much anyway, so let's make use of her chaos. Now, moving on to the Hystrix Prime, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. And after a little testing, I was left with a build I personally enjoyed. Packs a flavor of hybrid values promoting critical and status. And if in the hands of Korra, you can get a small percentage chance that hitting a headshot will instantly reload your weapon magazine. This can give you moments where it feels extremely strong, even in Steel Path against Void enemies, shredding through a couple of enemies at a time. I definitely think it's worth investing some former into it as it holds its ground in tough situations. And up finally, we have the Dual Karez Prime. Now, I was actually quite surprised by the outcome of this weapon. We have been steering away from the melee meta as guns have been buffed due to mod changes and new arcane introductions. But it is nice to see whenever melees also hold their ground. Quick slashes, scaling critical, scaling status, and overall hybrid values, just like the Hystrix, will also go ahead and complement this current meta of viral combination and dots, such as slash and heat, to put the Karez to the test and it looked to actually come out on top and quite strong, even such as like the Nami Skylar in comparison. Definitely a solid weapon. Once again, even in Steel Path missions, you can go and bring this weapon towards ending. But overall, how was the Korra Prime access release? Well, to be honest, guys, I give it a nod of approval. We already knew Korra was going to be good regardless, but the bust of the weaponry definitely provided them with some endgame showcasing to help flexibility within your arsenal and taste diversity. And that about wraps up this video, guys. Keeping it short and sweet and to the point. So how have you guys been finding these new Prime releases? And this is one of the very first Prime Access reviews that we've done on the channel. So if you did enjoy it and would like me to go and do some more reviews and builds for future Prime releases, please let it be known and leave some support. Thank you for watching today's video. If you are new, come subscribe and join us for more Warframe content. And as always, I will be seeing you guys again in the next video.